guys, so this is the wig video that I've been promising for about a month, month and a half or so. Um, I finally got around to actually filming how I wear it because I promised you when I made this wig a month ago, month and a half ago, I filmed how to make it. I just um, never got around to filming that. So I'm doing that now. Um, so yeah, so uh, coming up, you'll see how I made it super easy. Um, super easy to do. So yeah, I hope whoever does it do a video response or post pictures on my Facebook or something like that. Um, again, I got this hair from fingercomber.com or .net. I'll put it in the um, description box. Um, it's the Kinky Comber Wef. Um, I will be doing a full review of the hair um, and the company and whatnot. So yeah, guys, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so I said that I would make a video showing you how to make the um, finger comber wig that I made with the finger comber hair. Okay, so things that you need, of course, the hair. Um, this is two packs. I have it on a hanger because I washed it. I washed, co-washed it really, using um, Giovanni Smoothest Silk. Okay, and then I just set it in some twists for it to dry because um, the hair is extremely thick as you can see when, when, once you put, take it out and actually put it on the hair or whatever. So in order just to keep it under control or whatever, um, I set it in twists and it's easier for me to dry it that way and it um, will hold more of like a twist out pattern in that way. Okay, all right. Okay, of course you need thread. I'm using black thread. You need a weaving cap. This is the cap that I'm using here. Made by Dream. Some scissors. And oops, needle. I'm using the curved kind. And then a mannequin head. She has lipstick on. <laughs> But yeah, so, and then my weaving cap is on the mannequin head. Okay. All right. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, um, obviously I started on the cap. So what you want to do, you want to figure out what side is the right side for your cap. So I'm using the side that doesn't have the stitching on the outside. Okay. Um, and I turned it inside out. All right. Hopefully I'm afraid. I turned it inside out. And I sewed a track um, along the edges while the cap is turned inside out, okay? Reason for that is <clears throat> when the wind blows and that kind of stuff, it can kind of look like your hair is blowing up and you're not, like, just seeing wig cap. You get what I'm saying? So it goes the opposite direction of the regular hair and it just helps with um, blending and that kind of stuff, okay? So, um... I'm just gonna put it back on the I'm just gonna put it back on the mannequin head and you want to use a mannequin head just because um, you you don't want to be sewing this on your hair because it will um, you might sew it on your head so it is, it's just easier if you use a mannequin head okay um, so yeah I'm gonna fill in the bottom areas and then just go around and around and around I don't think I should tape it um, Maybe I'll tape it and just mute it and fast forward it so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But yeah, so I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm done with one pack of hair. Here's what it's looking like. I'm just going, I'm just going in a circle around um, the hair, around the wig cap, okay? So it's just in a circle. So the next, the next um, pack is just gonna fill in in here. And yeah, so I'll be back when I'm doing the closure.
Okay guys, so this is how much I have left. I went I ended up just putting um some twist. Let me close my laptop. I ended up just putting some twist in the hair so that um I could see better. I'm really I'm not gonna really make a closure just because I don't plan on wearing this hair in twist or anything like that. I plan can y'all tell I'm out of breath? My god. Pregnancy is no joke. <laughs> I plan on wearing it out, um, twist, twist it out, throw it out, that kind of stuff. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do like I've been doing, just taking, as you can see, it's just going around in a circle, okay? So I'm just going to keep just going around in a circle, going around a circle, going around a circle, like a maze, and just kind of zigzagging it in the middle um, to kind of close it up. But that's exactly what I'm going to do to finish the wig. Hey guys, so for how I wear this wig, okay, so this is probably, what I'm filming now is probably a month or so after I actually made the wig. Um, yeah. Okay, so the wig, this, this is the same wig that I made earlier in the video. Um, here it is. It's twisted um, because I washed it. How I take care of the wig, wash it or whatnot, I um, wash it with whatever I have <laughs> there. Downstairs I had some Castile soap. And so I mixed Castile soap with um, some Giovanni's Smoothest Soap Conditioner and just um, washed it with that. Okay, just like a quick co-wash. Um, I do um, just do a quick finger kind of detangle um, on the hair. And then I finger detangle and then I twist the hair. Okay, um, um, if you're my friend on like Instagram, or if you follow me on Instagram, my friend on Facebook, um, what I was, the hair that I had in for like my baby shower or whatever, and I posted it on YouTube also. So the hair, is this, the hair that I was wearing for my baby shower is the same wig, but that was just co-washed and um, left out to air dry in like a, the wash and go pattern, okay? When I twist it out, it'll have more of an elongated twist out type pattern like um, my pregnancy vlog from 2 week 28 I think it was so I'm sorry I'm sweating this restroom is extremely hot and yeah so okay so um how I wear it since it is a full cap I just put it on my head okay I use closed bobby pins well, bobby pins are closed there will still be hair pins so um i just put it in i don't have any wig wig um wig what you call it wig combs in here um because bobby pins do fine for me and i just didn't feel like sewing them in but you can sew in um some wig clips if you need to I don't feel the need to. I'm sorry, hang on. Okay, so I'm sorry if you can hear the thunder, it's raining out here in Houston today so um here it is twisted and i'll if i'm wearing if i'm wearing it twisted i'll wear it like um like so with a beanie and i'll just twist in my regular hair that's out in the front and wear it like so with a beanie okay because that's just the easiest thing for me to do i am so hot guys y'all being pregnant is just being pregnant and it being 80 something degrees outside in Texas is not the business at all. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, okay, so here it is. All right, so um, I get a bobby pin. I put it at either side of the. I hope the quality of this video is good. I'm using a new video camera because I couldn't find the battery for my regular camera, my T3. So either side of my hair, I bobby pin. The wig cap to my hair. Okay, and then by my ears. Bobby 
pet hair also. Okay, all right, and then um, you can bobby pin the front, but I usually don't just because it's pretty secure when you do it just um, on these on these um on the sides in the back so okay so just to show you the untwisted pattern of the hair so i just untwist it Okay, the hair is all untwisted. All right, so this is what it looks like untwisted. So I'm going to go through and kind of just um, fluff and maneuver the hair where I want it to be or whatever. And I mean, you can tell it gives it more of a twist out look than, rather than a wash and go look or whatever. And I mean, honestly, if you if you part it right, I hope I'm in frame. If you part it right, um, the I feel like the top of the hair is not gonna be in frame. Hang on, let me. So if you part it right and do it um, with your twist, the twist out pattern in mind, and if you do smaller twist, like you could leave it just you know kind of PC and you know twist outy. And whatever um, so it doesn't have as much of a wash and go type look for it and the front of my hair I just kind of so I had the twist in, in the front of my hair so I just kind of separate it not really separate it but just kind of run my fingers along each um, twist section that I had and just kind of make it not so defined if that makes sense so that it blends with the hair Okay, so Okay, and so what I twisted the hair with was um, Mane and Tails Detangler because I had it here and I don't use it on my hair because it has cones and I'm not a big cone user anyway. And so um, I just twisted it with that and hopefully all of my parts and tracks aren't showing in the back because I can't really see. But yeah, so the back isn't as separated but whatever. Um, hopefully it still looks good. I'll see in the video. <laughs> but you know, get your mirror and look at your stuff. Y'all know I like my hair going to a side when it's longer like this. So yeah, so this is how I wear the wig. Um, so I take care of it like I take care of um, regular hair and I honestly think this hair will last me. This wig, um, I made a U-part wig that I'll be wearing when my hair grows out more. Um, a lot more probably year two or something so I have that in a um, bag for me to just to preserve it or whatever but seriously I mean I'll do I'll probably feel it film it now since I'm in a filming mood um, this hair is ridiculous um, I love it so yeah so yeah guys so that's how I wear the wig 
and I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it was um, uh, easy to understand because those of you that have been with me for a while know I don't do it tutorials like that so I hope it was easy to understand and it's super easy to make your own unit and I do have one of their units but look out for the review video when I do the finger coma review um, yeah so alright guys I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to y'all later bye